Hey guys, Thad Peterson from SaintOv.us coming to you today in an extremely special jacket that SaintOv has just developed for PSA use. There are only two of these jackets in existence right now in the world. Bart Malone has one that you may have seen him using on a video that he put on Facebook. And then there's this one. So after I get done making this video to show you basically what the jacket is all about and how it works and what its benefits are, uh, after that I'm going to send it around the country to some PSA events with some people that I know. And um, hopefully that way I'll get it in front of a lot of you and some of you can find out if it's something that might interest you or even possibly we'll find out that there's some further development needed and we can do that then. So hang around for a couple minutes and I will show you around this jacket. So there are two main attributes of this jacket that make it so special. Number one is the fact that it's actually constructed from three separate pieces of the jacket. Each arm is a piece and the vest part of the jacket is a piece, the body part. So what that means is you can move your arms all over the place like crazy for any kind of bite presentation or anything else that you might want and you'll see the bottom of the jacket doesn't move around a tremendous amount like it would in a conventional jacket. And in a conventional jacket, if you raise your arm like this, the bottom of the jacket is gonna try to come up like this because the, the sleeve is connected to the body. So there are certain things that you just can't really physically do with a conventional style jacket that this jacket is specifically constructed and specifically designed to allow for. So that's one of the two big things. The other thing is the construction of the sleeves is basically the opposite of what a Belgian ring suit from St. Ov would have its sleeves constructed like. In a Belgian ring suit, the bottom of the sleeve, the forearm area of the sleeve from the elbow down to the end of the sleeve is a specific biting surface. It's densely padded, fits the arm close so that the dog has to get up on a full grip. And when they do get up on a full grip, you can see that they have a full grip on there. That's super important for Belgian Ring because Belgian Ring has 25 points on every single bite that are scored for the quality of that grip. So it's something that they need. In PSA, since the bites are all up here, KNPV style into the bicep, at least the frontal bites, we need the exact opposite. So this part of the sleeve is lightly padded, something like a competition suit sleeve would be. Up here, in the biting, biting locations for PSA, it's tight on your arm and it's somewhat thickly, densely padded. So the dog really has to get up on there and get a good grip. That's great for grip building. It's also great for seeing how well the dog is gripping. And it also takes pretty good care of your arm compared to a conventional sleeve. Okay, so just to show exactly what the uh, sleeve parts of the jacket really look like. Um, I've taken off the vest part of the jacket and this allows you to see much better how the jacket's actually constructed with the vest part off. And so um, that allows you to see much better. This is something that I've been asked about a lot of times by people is can we can we just get a a sleeve for training. Something like this that's more densely, tightly, thickly padded in the upper arm and um, the, the bottom part doesn't really matter so much. Something that we can just use for training. And this, this is exactly that because if you have one of these jackets, you can use the right sleeve, you can use the left sleeve, you can use the whole thing, you can use both sleeves. Whatever you like, the options are limitless. And to that exact point, St. Ov has included a, uh, it's kind of like shoulder strap material, a strap piece that goes around from the back of this, of this sleeve around to the front of the sleeve. So you have the ability to wear just the sleeve for working young dogs. Maybe you're working them on a table or whatever, or maybe you're just introducing, introducing the bites to them, the inner arm bites. Whatever the case may be, you have, you have the ability to use just the left sleeve or just the right sleeve for runaways if that's what you wanted to do. Now one thing that's going to be really critical is that this, 
these sleeves need to be fitted to you properly. So we need an accurate measurement of your upper arm circumference. And what we need is a, an accurate measurement of the distance between your armpit and your elbow so that we can get the length of this stiffer part of the sleeve made correctly. And just so that I'm showing the full range of ways that this jacket can be used, um, I'll show it the way Bart Malone was using it in his video. He had on the left arm, and his actually happens to have um, jute upper arm sleeve covers on it, kind of consistent with the ideology of Belgian ring where they put the jute covers on the, the bottom part of the arm, which is the bite surface in Belgian ring. So he had the jute upper arm sleeve covers on, on this side, he had on the jacket body, vest, whatever you want to call it, and then no right sleeve on. So this just gives you um, really good mobility for this arm. If you want to use a stick or use it for obstacles for the dog or whatever you might want to do with it, there's kind of no reason to have a sleeve on this arm in a lot of cases. So with this sort of a jacket, you have all of the options. You can use it however you want. Well, I hope this video has given you a basic understanding of what this jacket is and whether it might be something that would work really well for you or not. And if you do have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to call me at 517-668-1224. Again, that's 517-668-1224. I look forward to hearing from you and have a nice day.